Hi friends, in this episode we will see about the instrument air system, its working principle and usage of instrument air. Instrument air is normally used for pneumatic purpose controls, that is the control of all control valves as well as the on-off valve, shutdown valve and used as utility air for maintenance, liquid and gaseous nitrogen and oxygen production and cleaning purpose also. Usually packet tape air compressors are normally used in offshore platforms and small plants followed by IAD units with non-conventional type that is the heatless dryer to minimize area, cost and maintenance. It is also used in marine system also. All other industries uses high capacity multi-stage compressors either reciprocating type or centrifugal types with intercooler and aftercooler followed by IAD units with both conventional and non-conventional non type dryer. A part of plant air from the plant air receiver is branched to all utility stations for usage and remaining air is sent to instrument air dryer to remove moisture from air to get the required dew point. Normally in offshore platform and small capacity application and marine application, reciprocating compressors and screw compressors are used as packet tape compressors with air coolers for low boil cooler and compressor to minimize the area and maintenance. Normally two compressors with lead and lag arrangement for auto run is provided to maintain the system pressure uninterruptedly in those areas. Heatless dryer is normally used in this type of application in offshore, marine and small industries. Instrument air dryer is provided with two sets of two types of uh, two sets of dryers and per set two dryers are there. Two pre-filter and after filter are provided with pressure transmitters, alarm facility for high differential pressure and with online dew point analyzer for easy and efficient operation in a offshore and marine facility. All these type of filters Receivers and dryers are provided with the moisture separator trap system to ensure proper efficiency of the instrument air system. Instrument air dryer is usually selected with little higher capacity to take high humidity load in offshore and in marine facilities. This is a schematic diagram of instrument air system used in offshore marine facilities and small capacity plants. It's a packet tape compressor, ambient air or atmospheric air is sucked through filters, entering the compressor and uh, compressor discharge through NRV is cooled in the air cooler and moisture is separated in the moisture trap, this is the recycle wall to maintain the pressure and the air is going to the plant air receiver or wet air receiver which is provided with pressure safety wall and the plant air outlet is going through pre-filter to remove oil and uh, moisture and for the dust particles entering the heatless dryer pressure sink type non-conventional type heatless dryer normally one dryer will be online for 5 minutes and uh, at the end of the 50 minute both dryer pressure will be equalized that this pressure swing will take place that pressure will be equalized and this pressure the bed which absorb the moisture will get depressurized with the moisture absorbed in the bed and this will come online for 5 minutes and uh, this will uh, equalize the pressure with the air bed and this will depressurize the moisture so the cycle will continue the outlet air is going to the going through after filter and the pure instrument air without uh, moisture with the required dew point is consumed throughout the plant that instrument air is going to all the plants control walls transmitters and one is branched to utilization and the main portion is going to nitrogen production is uh, situated nearby so instrument air is going to the section for nitrogen plant also now we can see about the intercooler and after cooler in all the industries, multi-stage reciprocating or centrifugal compressors are used 
based on the requirement. Intercoolers are used between stages to reduce the air temperature and after cooler is provided after the final stage of the compression before going to the wet air or plant air receiver. Uh, roughly 10 degree Fahrenheit or 5 degree centigrade reduction in temperature between stages results in 1% saving in power output. Also due to the temperature reduction in uh, intercoolers, the air in second and third stage for multi, -com multi stage compressor cylinder gets better cylinder lubrication which in turn minimize the wall trouble. Normally in between stages due to compression temperature will increase from ambient or atmospheric temperature say 35 to, uh, 35 to 30 degree centigrade to 150 to 160 degree centigrade. So in the intercoolers the temperature will reduce from 160 degree centigrade to 30 degree almost 130 degree is reduced that is 26 uh, percentage of power is saved in the intercoolers and if the intercooler is working properly means then we, the cylinder will get proper lubrication and which will uh, minimize the wall trouble for the compressors. After cooler reduces the instrument air dryer load, compressor discharge line damage if cooler is not there due to a high temperature. If cooler is not there, after cooler is not there, it will uh, avoid, it will give water hammering. So if water cooler is there, it will avoid uh, water hammering and freezing in cold weather. As water vapor is condensed in after cooler, which are removed by master separator, leaving the air at atmospheric temperature to instrument air dryer. So if the after cooler is not there after the final stage, the hot air, if, the, if it enters the plant air receiver, it will damage the discharge line and it will give water hammering, freezing in cold weather. So after cooler plays a vital role. Both air and cooling water are used as uh, and uh, for inter and after cooler as cooling media. Cooling water is normally used in tubes and air cooling is usually done by external fans. The air is inside the tube or shell facilities with the corrugated or fin type arrangement either induced draft or forced draft fan is used to remove the water vapor evaporated from the fin type or corrugated type arrangement it is normally used in package type uh, compressors or low capacity compressors in uh, offshore marine facilities uh, final temperature in each cylinder will be same in same means the work has been divided equally and the intercooler design is proper that is if the intercooler is working uh, effectively means then the design is proper normally the filters used in uh, primary or secondary filters primary filters will uh, reduce the or it will trap the larger airborne dust particles between 5 to 10 micron size or usually of the dry type panel type dry panel type it is capable of working with relatively high airflow velocities and the second type second stage filters after the primary filter before the compressor with the finer media for trapping and retaining finer particles passed by the primary filters that is uh, less than 5 micron dust particles will be removed in the second stage filter before the compression. A dew point is the temperature at which water vapor in the air begins to condense into water. Uh, one more type filter is used in the packet tape compressor, coil sink filters which remove both particulate and uh, aerosolized liquids. This is normally used in lube oil filter inside the packet tape compressor in offshore facility and in marine facilities. Here is the schematic type of single stage and uh, two stage compression. This is a single stage compressor only having after cooler and this is a two stage compressor with intercooler and this is a second stage and this is an after cooler and this is going to the plant air receiver followed by instrument air dryer.
now we can see the comparison between centrifugal compressor and the reciprocating compressor centrifugal compressor capital cost is very high compared to reciprocating compressor reciprocating compressor capital cost is low centrifugal compressor can continuously run for 10 years whereas reciprocating can run for 3 to 5 years only life is less for centrifugal compressor operating cost is low due to less wear of parts for reciprocating compressor i operating cost as part will wear away fast mainly the walls wall plates and walls will wear frequently in reciprocating compressor centrifugal compressor will consume power consumption will be uh, greater than 7500 kilowatt but uh, gas or steam turbine can also be used in centrifugal compressor and uh, reciprocating compressor power usage depends upon power consumption the reliability for a centrifugal compressor is 98 to 98% whereas the reliability for reciprocating compressor is 95 to 98% only centrifugal compressor cannot handle multi multitude of gases in single stage or in different stages whereas reciprocating compressor is adaptable to multitude of gases in same stage or at different stages centrifugal compressors cannot be used in oil plus free and normally refrigerant chiller compression it is not used normally very rarely used reciprocating compressor can be used for free and non oil in chiller compression centrifugal compressor maintenance requirements are uh, typically limited to replacing bearing parts pads and uh, seal wearing parts whereas com- reciprocating compressor wall and seal elements may require frequent maintenance in duration as short as few months and as long as 3 to 5 years all the running time compressor wall seal wall seal elements require frequent maintenance and replacement centrifugal compressors have comparatively silent operation whereas reciprocating compressor produce greater noise and vibrations centrifugal compressor runs continuously and delivers steady and pulsating free air whereas reciprocating compressor intermittently runs and it will deliver pulsating air only centrifugal compressor is suitable for high discharge and low pressure ratio whereas reciprocating compressor is suitable for low discharge and high pressure ratio this is a main comparison between a centrifugal compressor and reciprocating compressor based on the requirement we can select either a centrifugal compressor or a reciprocating compressor for our requirement now we can see some important uh, definitions used in instrument air dryer the second type air dryers is two type heated type and heatless dryer heated dryers life is 2 to 3 years one on bed will be in service for 8 hours minimum and the uh, second bed will be in regeneration either 4 hour heating and 4 hour cooling or 5 hour heating and 3 hours cooling in heatless dryers it life is more for 5 years two sets with each set having two dryers will be there in uh, heatless dryers next type is membrane air dryers membrane permeability or pores this dryer is a cylinder with houses thousands of tiny hollow polymer fibers with an inner coating in the tube or cylinder when wet air enters the cylinder it allows small water particles to permeate the membrane wall and collect between the fibers while the dry air continues through the fibers in the cylinder at almost the same pressure as the incoming wet air the permeated water is vented to the atmosphere outside the cylinder and the clean air dry air is coming outside the cylinder it is usually used in nitrogen generator system next type is refrigerator type dryers it remove water by cooling the compressed air and temperature causing condensation using freon another type is chemical dryers it uses a process of compressed air or a bed deliquescent chemicals until the chemicals are saturated with the excess moisture from the air the chemical used in this process are sodium calcium chloride and lithium 
these are the chemical used in the chemical dryers how oh, the phenomena is adsorption this is a physical phenomena the accumulation of the molecular pieces at the surface rather than in the bulk of a solid or liquid is known as adsorption for example water vapor or adsorbed by silica gel and activated alumina silica gel and activated alumina are normally used in heated or heatless dryer as for desiccant type air dryers silica gel is of three types one is blue to pink which is gopal chloride and it is banned in many countries as but it is less expensive but it cannot be used in food beverages and pharmaceutical products because gopal is toxic gopal chloride is toxic next type is orange to dark green so when it absorbs moisture it will become green dark green or colorless but it is non toxic it is a methyl violet type and it can be used anywhere whereas blue blue to pink change silica gel cannot be used in all type of uh, usage next one is white color uh, silica gel normally used in packets for packaging newly purchased items like shoes electronic items and packaged goods these white pouches are non indicating that means it does not show any visible sign of moisture adsorption in the package how you can see the pressure dew point the pressure dew point as measured at the dryer outlet shall be at least 10 degree centigrade or 18 degree fahrenheit below the minimum temperature to which any part of the instrument air system is exposed that is and the pressure dew point should be less at least 10 degree centigrade when the instrument air is used in the system the pressure dew point shall not exceed 4 degree centigrade in that line pressure dew point we can get in the instrument air air is around minus 70 degree centigrade for the instrument air instrument air with the dew point less than minus 40 degree centigrade it is requirement at a 8 to 10 bar pressure at the outlet of the after filter is collected in instrument air receiver and distributed throughout the plants to all pneumatic instruments pressure transmitters control valves utility stations and to nitrogen generator injection this is the instrument air system in conventional type or thermal swing heat regenerated dryers which is used using electric heater power consumption due to electric heater and heat remained in its mode so till running cost is more in non conventional pressure swing heatless dryer electric heater is not required so running cost and maintenance cost is less the only problem in uh, heatless dryer is the vent wall or deep pressurization wall seating will erode quite often due to the purging of moisture content leading to passing of the valve which in turn will reduce system pressure and flow if the moisture trap is maintained properly we can minimize the failure of depressurization wall the heatless dryer uh, can be used in uh, offshore marine system or in big industries also which is cheap and best during wind winter and cold weather intercoolers and after cooler cooling water flow is to be regulated to maintain same temperature in each cylinder to get proper work in each stages of the compressor thereby increase the efficiency of the air compressor if the cooling water is not throttled in the intercooler and after cooler during the winter or cold weather that will affect the compression ratio so this is the main point we have to follow in the intercooler or after coolers during the winter or cold weather hope you might have understand the instrument air system if you have any doubt you can put it in the comment don't forget to subscribe and share it with your colleagues and friends put your like and comments in the comment box see you in the next episode thank you very much